Hey guys, welcome to the shop. So just fired up the digital readout. And what we're gonna do today is learn how to use an edge finder as a center finder so we can get pretty close to the center on this bore and then we'll dial it in the rest of the way with an indicator. Now, for this job, this is actually, in all likelihood, sufficiently accurate. Uh, in my experience, this will get you within three to four thousandths of true center. But, you know, that's not always the case. So, just show you how to use it. This relies on the half function of the digital readout, which is the easy way to do it. Um, so, what we're going to do is find the edge here, find the edge here, and split the difference. And when we do that twice, we'll find not the true center, but very close to it. Uh, this works because on a circle, you know, the average of any two points on this axis is still the center regardless of where we truly pick it up. And this is, again, sufficiently accurate. It's not perfect, but it works. So, fire up the machine. Now, the reason I'm using this edge finder is really for you guys' sake. Um, because I, I really just find it easier to see. Um, it, my other edge finder is a little more repeatable, but I don't find it to be as easy to see on camera. So there we are, we found the rough center. So I'm just gonna zero the digital readout by moving the table, not with the buttons. Get ourselves within a couple tenths. Um, one of the issues is with a worn machine like this, you get a little bit of stick slip. So I have trouble getting the table within about half a thou. Um, I treat anywhere where I'm within, you know, three to five tenths as that's what zero actually is. Because, frankly, that's about the limit on this particular machine. A brand new machine would be more accurate and I think much more repeatable. But now I'm just cleaning out the bore because this is what we're going to be using for our real accuracy. Now I'm trying to keep the probe straight relative to the walls of the casting here or machined boss. Now this is just a little bit tricky to see. So I'm reading, we have 12 thousandths on this side.
we have 16 thousandths on this side. So I've got to move the machine two thousandths that way. So I've got 14. and 14 so that's good you know we're good on the x i got 14 up front so we're probably pretty damn close on the y let's see what the back says so the back says i've got 14 and change um so i'm just reading this in thousandths of an inch of engagement the absolute numbers are irrelevant but as you can't see the digital readout, but we got this within two thousandths of center using an edge finder, which I would say for almost anything is pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, so, you know, if you guys are interested, I can demonstrate the use of a coaxial indicator, but from here on out, this is a pretty simple job of just banging holes. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed.